Hi everyone, Ishani from Argos Labs here. Today I'm going to show you a scenario which performs a sequence of data entry with a loop technique. As usual, let's check our display settings. So we want 100% in size and 1920 by 1080 in resolution. Okay, now let's get started. So here I am looking at a list of names with email addresses. And let's assume my job is to register these people to my customer database or some kind of CRM, such as Salesforce. Okay, so this is my customer database. In this demo, I am using Pickle CRM. This is a nice online service that has pretty much all the basic features that small and medium-sized businesses would need. Basically, my automation scenario will register these people to Pickle. More specifically, it will paste the first name here, the last name here, the email address here, and then save the records and repeat that until there are no more names left on the list. So here is the scenario that automates such a data entry task, and I would like to explain this step by step. Okay, so as you can see here, the scenario starts with confirming both the Excel file and the CRM is open and ready. After confirming that both the list and CRM are ready, it first moves the focus to the list and copies the first name using Control C. So over here, you can see that the focus is being moved to the list by clicking. And then next, we have a type keys action that says Control C. After copying the first name, the scenario switches to the CRM screen by clicking the icon at the taskbar and chooses the the field for the first name and pastes it there. So here it's choosing the first name field and then again we have a type keys action saying control V this time. After that it will again click the icon on the taskbar here to switch back to the Excel list. Now in the next few operations it is deleting the top line of the list before moving on such that the next data line appears at the top of the list. So you can see that's being done here. Now in the next group of eight to 10 operations, it is simply repeating the data entry procedure for the last name, just like it did earlier for the first name, starting from Excel and switch to Pickle and paste data and then back to Excel. And then in the next four operations, it will delete again the top line of the list. Okay, now again, it is copying the data at the top of the list. And in this case, the data is the email address and it will paste it into Pickle's email field. So over here, there's the email and here it's being pasted into Pickle. This time, instead of going straight back to the Excel list, it is saving this data at Pickle right here. So we're clicking the Save Contact button. And after saving the record, I'm going back to this screen over here and then clicking Add a New Contact. Then I go back to the Excel list again by clicking the Excel icon at the taskbar. And again, the top line is deleted with the next few operations. And then this verification uh, is the key item in the scenario. It is using the image-based verification and defining the loop. So let me explain this one with more details. Now take a look at this parameter where we have success and failure choices. What this is doing right here is when the robot finds this image, which means a verification success, the verification is a success, it goes all the way back to the top of the scenario. So that's why I put success, we'll move on to operation number one. So the scenario, uh, Operation number one is the first operation in the scenario, so the scenario will repeat the entire process from there. Then, if the robot does not find this target image, which means the verification is a failure, 
it moves on to this end scenario oper action right here. For making it easy for the robot to find the target image, this Excel list has this stop and start right here as the data gets deleted one by one. Now let's run it with three sets of data as a test. So here the focus is being moved. Now we're going to pickle and pasting the first name. Now the top line gets deleted. Last name gets copied. And then pasted into CRM. Top line gets deleted again while the email gets copied. And then the email is deleted, I mean, pasted into the pickle CRM. Now we're saving and adding the new contact. And now it's going to keep repeating this process until we're finished with all the names and everything is added into the pickle CRM. The last person. Oh. And just pasting it in. And now, as you can see, when the robot saw the stop image, it went to the end scenario operation and the automation ended. Okay, so that is the end of this scenario. Using this loop technique, you can automate data entry when you have tens of hundreds of names to process. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. See you next time and happy automation.